Hello, today I'll be coding a tetrahedron, which is something that has been done to death before, and there are videos of me coding stuff like this on this very channel, but this is going to be a bit different. So the faces are going to be solid, and this is going to be a tetrahedron that's built as being in a cube and not as a regular triangular pyramid. Uh, also, it's going to have a shadow, and I should stop talking and uh, start coding. So um, we start with the number of faces, uh, which is 4. Obviously, tetra. Okay, so now that I've done this, I'm going to have my 3D shape. Um, uh, style. And here, I'll include the number. And this is how I'm passing the number of uh, faces of the tetrahedron to the CSS. Uh, and here, I have my faces. And actually, this is not number, this is a shape, so not N from number, S from shape. Um, and here, again, I'll be having some custom properties, and these are going to be um, a couple of indices uh, related to parity. So this first one is related to parity, so it's modulo 2. And the second one is related to the half, so um, let's say I have floor of this number over 2, and this uh, should do it for the structure. I can move on to the CSS. And uh, moving on to the CSS, just, uh, and again, this is uh, shape right here. So uh, shape, and I'll also create a mixin. So um, mixin, and uh, this takes an edge length and it takes a background color for the faces. Um, position absolute and for the faces also I have position absolute uh, background that color. Okay, now I should uh, start setting some uh, dimensions and things like that. So include Mixin. Oh, sorry. This mixin in particular. Um, an edge length, a background color. So um, this I should do for now. I don't think I'll be adding anything else in here. So uh, all the faces are triangles, and a triangle has uh, three vertices and three edges. So this is the number of vertices edges. And this is the base angle corresponding to an edge in a triangle. Uh, so that's 360 degrees over the sun number because there are 360 degrees around um, a point. Okay, now the next thing, I compute the circumradius. And this is half the edge length um, over sine of half this uh, base angle. But the thing is, I don't have sine and sass, I need compass, so import, uh, import. Compass. And now this should work. Um, and I should, um, Okay, I'm seeing something, which is good. Now the next thing, I'll be cutting triangles. And uh, this is done with clip path. But first, I'll have a function. Function get um, polygon points. Uh, and I have a number of um, vertices by default. Make it three. And also an offset angle. So this is the angle at which I want the first vertex to be at. And by default, this is going to be minus 90 degrees. Okay, uh, here I compute a base angle, which is 360 degrees over the number of um, edges. And I'm also going to have um, a list of points, which is empty initially. Now I have a loop from 0 to 
uh, n. And here I compute the current angle, which is the index times the base angle plus the offset angle. Uh, and now I compute an x, which is 50% uh, times 1 plus, because I start from the middle, from the 50% 50% point. So I need to add that up to uh, the value that I have. So this is times cosine of the current angle. And pretty much the same for um, the y. So sine. And now I add to the list of points. OK. Now I have returned this list of points. Now I have my shape is polygon get and clip path is this shape. Okay, now I have my triangle, um, and Safari still needs WebKit clip path because just clip path won't work for Safari, though it does work for Chrome. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, also clip path doesn't work uh, for Edge, and there are other things that won't work in Edge, but yeah, whatever. The whole thing won't work in Edge. Um, left, okay. And I'm also going to have a margin. This is going to be negative minus. Okay, so now everything is in the middle. Uh, one more thing I want to uh, do here is transform style preserve 3D. Um, and for the body, oh, let's set here a few styles as well. Overflow hidden. Um, make the height full height, um, set the perspective, exaggerated but whatever, uh, set the background, gain scroll should do it. Okay, now that I've done this, let's do Now let's start setting transforms here on the faces. So our uh, transform, the first one is rotation, and this is calc. And by the way, this also doesn't work in edge using a uh, calc inside a rotate. So uh, this is j times um, half a turn. Okay. Now the next thing, I'll be doing something similar but for the y-axis. So for the y-axis, uh, it's actually on, let's just uh, duplicate this. Um, okay, so this is uh, 0.25. Now actually I can do my 0.25 here and I can take this out of here and just multiply this with 2, and just uh, put it in here. Okay, so um, let me think. So yeah, and this is how it is. Yeah, this is how it is. Now for the rotate around the x-axis. Okay. 
okay now I need to compute uh, the angle in between so here actually let's just uh, copy paste this because it's pretty similar and there aren't any big changes to be made so tangent um, okay and let's do the height Okay, and let's compute the edge length of the cube that this tetrahedron is in. So it's the edge length of the tetrahedron over square root of 2. Okay, and the rotation angle around the x-axis for this tetrahedron is the tangent between half the edge length of the tetrahedron over okay so this is in radians so let's uh, change it to degrees it's in unitless radians and we want to change it to uh, radian units okay so this is rotate x Okay, and now let's set a dummy translation, just so that we can see some stuff. Something like this. Let's see. Okay, this is actually minus, sorry. Okay, so uh, this is starting to look like something. Let's do opacity. Something like this, it should start looking like something. And it does, as you can probably tell. Okay. Uh, I won't um, go on with the approximations, uh, but what I will be doing is um, computing um, this is. going to be sun um actually it's perpendicular so that, that's a tangent sorry um Okay, and this is my in radius of my tetrahedron and the value that I need right here. Okay, so um, now it's, uh, it's working nicely. Let's take this out and let's add in a rotation. Um, so, keyframes, rotation. Let's say it's going to come from this is a rotation around the y axis. Uh, let's set an animation duration. So something like this. No, uh, not on the face here. Animation or rotation. Okay, so I have a tetrahedron, but I want to add a bit of shading to the faces. So uh, as they rotate, I want them to um, darken and brighten up and uh, things like that. So um, let's see how we do that. Let's see. Keyframes, shade, two, filter, brightness, 
0.5. Okay, so um, now I will be. I think this is actually in the same uh, value that uh, I'll be using for the delay, which is pretty interesting, I think. I mean, at least it's interesting to me. Um, okay, so um, I'll be setting this. Um, as a K. So, uh, yeah. Now I have animation, sorry, animation, shade, is an out, okay, and calc, um, that key times minus t and I also need to divide it by n okay uh, and now let's get rid of that opacity okay this is uh is it's starting to look good but the thing is, uh, I want um, I want the upper part to be a bit so filter brightness. So uh, this is going to uh, depend on the J, actually. So um, it's um, okay, and I'll be doing something similar here. Except this is point five, not one. So yeah, now the top ones are uh, brighter and the bottom ones are darker. And when they come in front, they also become lighter. So yeah, it depends on the angle and it uh, depends on the rotation around the Y axis. Yeah, this looks pretty good so far. And uh, it's what I was going for. Now, the thing is, I may not want this uh, animation to happen, so um, I'll be doing um, a progress kind of thing. So um, I'll be putting a progress. Uh, by default, this is zero. Uh, but mm, let's see here. I have. minus one times the animation duration uh, and here uh, I'll be having that same progress minus all of this and this progress is zero by default and 
one more thing I want to set here is animation play state inherit. Okay, and here when I set animation play state, it's if I have an animation, um, then I don't set a play state, otherwise it's paused. So now let's see here. So the animation is false by default. So uh, if I don't have animation, and let's say I'm at 35% with this. So yeah, it looks pretty good, as you can see. Uh, let's try a 65%. This should look pretty good as well. Um, 45%. Okay, this looks good as well. So, um, yeah. Now, one more thing I want to do. Let's say I may want to have a shadow as well. So, by default, this shadow is not going to appear. So, um, just if I enable it. So, by default, it's going to be a null. But, Um, or I can do it. No shadow. Um, if I have a shadow, though, let's uh, collapse this in the body. And so if I do have a shadow, then Let's create a before pseudo element. Um, position absolute, content nothing. Um, do margin minus one pixel, padding one pixel. Um, so something else I want to create here is another function, function uh, use map key default. So uh, this is going to uh, return if map has key map king map get map king otherwise just use the default okay so now what I'll be doing is setting a color here this is a uh, uh, use shadow. Um, the key is going to be the color, and the default is silver. Now, background is current color, and let's also set. Okay, what's the problem? Yes, I'm trying to. Yes, come on. Show me, show me where's the problem. map, sorry.
Okay. Box shadow. Zero, zero for the offsets. Do a big spread as well. Current color. Let's see, how does this look? Okay, I am starting to see something. Uh, now let's set some transforms. So um, the first star transform is going to be This is a translation. Okay, uh, let's do rotate Y, oh, rotate X, sorry. So something like this. Okay. Make it like this. This looks good. Um So there's a lot of uh, tweaking here to make it look as good as possible. Okay, so uh, this looks actually pretty good. And I think I'll be leaving it at this because uh, I'm not really good at prettifying and things like this. Um, just one more thing I'll be doing. So... Um, I'll be making this half okay and let's use this shadow Okay, and let's say I make this uh, difference 2ms, something like that. Okay, I need to interpolate as well. That's true. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, um, yeah, that's how I can uh, control this. And if I do this... is darker something like that um, and I can show you if I change this to something like 7 ms it's going to be way lower as you can see it now so um yeah I'll be leaving it like this come on show up okay it has shown up and uh, this is it. This is uh, the whole thing. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description below. With a donation, there's a link in the description. Or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. There will be links in the description as well. Or you can share the world. 
uh, this with the world to show them what can be done with CSS on the web these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. Or you can at least vote for uh, the implementation of Clipboth in Edge, because as I said, this is not yet supported in Edge. And I think it's a very, very useful property. In any event, thanks for watching.